Today I'm going to show you how to paint this really cool winter landscape using acrylics. If you're new to my channel, please be sure to like this video and to subscribe so you can see more video tutorials from me in the future. I am super excited to show you this, so let's get to so, it. So the materials that I'm using for today, I have an 8x10 pre-gessoed canvas. I am going to be using four different types of brushes for this paint. I got a 3 quarter inch flat wash brush, a number 10 filbert, a number 10 shader brush and a number zero detail round brush and i'm going to be using four different colors actually one two three four five i'm going to be using five different colors today i'm going to be using a primary yellow primary red primary blue titanium white and mars black and i'm going to have some water and a towel if you want to know all the materials that I do use for these paintings, I do have a video in the description below that will detail for you exactly the painting supplies that I use to make all my paintings. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start with our flat wash brush. I'm going to dip it in my paint water just to get it nice and wet. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make this really like dark sage green. So I'm going to go ahead and add that yellow to my brush. So I'm loading it, I'm going to take some blue, add that together, get a nice sage. Now what I'm going to do is now that I have this color, I'm going to take a lot of white and I'm going to add that to my color here. Okay. So you're getting this nice subtle hint of this uh, of this green. You know, I'm gonna go add a little bit of blue back into this because I do want to get that nice subtle hint. Okay. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my canvas and I'm just going to I'm just gonna make some brush strokes, kind of like this. I'm just taking my brush and I'm just kind of laying it one on top of the other, just like this. So I'm going ahead adding in that color. Be sure to get the size of my canvas as well. And I'm painting to about halfway, a little below halfway actually. And now that I got my color in there, I'm gonna go ahead and add in a lot more white and then I'm not really going to clean my brush either. I just I still want to have that color in there, but I just want to go ahead and just lighten up back here. This is something I've kind of I've heard from uh, another artist is that you want every element of the same color as you're using throughout the entire painting. So I that's why I'm not really cleaning the brush. I just I still want to keep that same color happening. And I can always go back in to that sage color and reapply at certain points just to make it a little stronger, just like so. Fantastic. So next what we're going to do is we're going to make the pathway. So I'm going to just get my brush nice and clean. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and just dip it into my blue. I'm going to add a little bit of white. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and go to about the center of my canvas at the middle as well. And I'm just going to use the tip of my brush to make a path just like so and it's going to I'm gonna make the path go out to here and let's see I might make it go down to here as well so I'm just gonna go ahead and add in those colors And I'm also making sure to get the bottom portions of my canvas as well.
excellent. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna rinse my brush and I'm gonna go ahead and add in some white because I wanna go and add snow. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I've got that white, I wanna add a tiny bit of blue, tiny bit, just a little bit. I want to get that nice hint of blue uh, and a tiny bit of yellow, just a tiny, tiny bit. And then I wanna add more yellow, uh, more white. So basically I just really wanna create um, white snow, but I want to give that reflective quality of the sky and the walkway here. So I'm going ahead and I'm just gonna go and add in, add in some white here. And I'm gonna go up to the crosswalk actually, so up to the top of the walk here. I'm just gonna go ahead and add that color in. And I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Um, I'm gonna do the details of this in a minute. Um, I just wanted to kind of lay down the color first. Okay. So once I got that color that I'm really looking for, I'm uh, just going to take my flat wash. I'm going to make sure I clean it. And I'm going to move over now to my filbert. So I'm going to dip that in my white. I'm going to dip that in my color. Uh, excuse me. I'm going to dip that into my paint water. I'm going to go back into that same snow color we were using. I'm loading it. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to the uh, portions of the walkway here and just to start covering that with some snow. So I'm just kind of making like like little ridges where the pathway and the snow meet. Now what's really cool is that this is mixing in with some of the blue from underneath which is awesome because you're really going to catch all the colors that you're trying to get here. Okay. So I'm also kind of going in and just adding straight up white on top of all this too. This just creates like a nice um, like multi texture kind of snow look. I'm also adding like little ridges here and there. Now you can always go back in with your blue just to go and um, just clean up some of the pathway here. Just like so. Fantastic. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of a reflective quality to the pathway. So I'm going to add a little bit of yellow I'm going to add some blue. Actually, I'm going to put a little more yellow in this, add a tiny bit of white. And then I'm just going to use the tip of my filbert and I'm just going to make some lines. You're kind of creating like a, a wet look on the pathway itself. It's, it's just a way to create some of that contrast and also just to show that there is some kind of like a bit of a wet surface happening here. Okay. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm, I want to make a little bit of a, of a purple sheen that's happening here. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take some blue, I'm going to add a little bit of red to that. Okay, and I'm just going to go in to the pathway using my filbert, using that tip. And I'm just going to go ahead and add in that color.
And then I'm just gonna try to bring down that purple. To some of the yellow that we just previously laid down. Okay, so I just don't I don't want it to be just one little spot is purple. I want it to kind of uh, kind of just start blending its way down. Just like so. And you know what? I'm gonna go back in uh, with some yellow actually and just reinforce some of these areas here. In fact, I'm just going to add a little white to that yellow, so it, it's so it kind of pops a little bit more. Okay. So what we're going to do next? I want to go back in with my flat wash brush, and I want to one more time just make a little bit of a darker leaf foliage happening here. So I'm going to just use some blue, take a little bit of yellow. And then take some white. I'm just kind of going in, doing that same brush stroke. And I'm only doing this because I just want <clears throat> to create a little bit more of a contrast here. Okay. I don't want to concentrate too, too much on this part. I do want to. I just don't want it to give it a little bit of uh, that extra oomph that we're looking for, okay? So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our ten, number 10 shader brush, we're going to dip it in some water, and now we're going to go ahead and make some trees. So I'm just going to take some black, I'm evenly loading it on my brush, just like so. Now I'm going to make, I'm going to make the first tree that's here, so I'm just going to start with a tip down, um, I'm going to go a little bit below the horizon where the snow is and I'm just gonna bring my brush straight up okay now when it comes to making trees trees just are a variance of straight lines okay so all you want to do is just kind of hold your brush steady I'm kind of holding mine like a pencil like that so I'm making sure to get a you know premium hold on mine and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start to make branches so when it comes to making branches, I just kind of angle my brush out and I go ahead and I make lines. So when it comes to making branches, my rule is always the make the letter Y with my, with my branches. And as with any kind of branch, the branches um, are thin at the tips and they come together back to the trunk and they get a little more thick. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add a bit more substance to this. And then I'm gonna... Whenever I get to the tip, I, I let off a little bit of pressure off my brush. And actually that helps me to um, get that nice thin edge on my brush. Okay. So that's tree number one, and I can always go back in later and, and add in more branches if I really want to. But, so that's tree number one. We can go back to tree number two, and I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna go maybe a little bit lower to where, that, to where that trunk started, so like right around here. Once again, I'm gonna do the same kind of thing, and I'm just gonna play around with my lines a little bit. I do wanna make this tree a tiny bit more like loose, I guess. It's got like a bit of a bend to it, so. So I'm just gonna go ahead. Just make my lines. And again, I'm just using the, the tip of my of my shader brush here. And another thing too, I'm always trying to make sure that my black is very wet. Because when you have a wet brush, the lines will come out a lot more crisp and clean.
Okay, awesome. So now I'm going to do the same thing with another tree kind of in the background here, so it's going to be a little higher up. And I'm making sure that some of the branches kind of intersect with each other. Because that's the beauty of trees. They like to intersect with one another. Now I'm also going to go ahead and add some background trees here and I'm just going to do that with just some simple little strokes very lightly just uh, pushing my brush into the canvas very lightly and I just wanted to give that appearance of like this trees happening in the background here so I'm very lightly just pushing my brush on the canvas here. I also want to go ahead and add in some just some branches that are kind of on the front here. So I'm just going to add a little bit of white and a little bit of black so we can make a nice gray. And I'm just going to kind of do the same thing here. And I'm just going to go back in on the back here as well. Just going ahead and add those colors in. Okay, and you're also going to go ahead and take that same brush, you're going to clean it this time, and we're going to go ahead and add in a little bit of white. Okay, so I'm coating it evenly, and I'm just going to go ahead and add in some white lines along the path here. And I'm also going to go on the lines here as well and just reinforce some of that white using the same brush. And I'm kind of just doing like a little bit of a sweeping motion. This helps create like a more of a billowy snow effect. As with any kind of trunk, there's always like a little bit of a hang like that. And I'm also going back in and adding more white, and I'm also going to add a little bit of blue to that. So again, it reflects all the stuff that's happening in this scene. So 
So now I'm just going to go ahead and just add in some finishing touches with the blue. Now here's a little bit of a side note. If you are not comfortable really using this type of brush for making your trees, you can always use the zero detail round brush to help you get there as well. Okay, so it's really up to you how you want to control your brush and how much control you really are looking for. But that's just an option for you. And this is how you make a really cool winter scene. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel so you can see more helpful video tutorials from me in the future. All right, everyone, talk to you later. Ta-ta!